Hey guys, it's me, it's KC, and welcome back to the Griffin High Major Event and Family Gather Quest for Stuff. I am following Cool Kid Peter. That quest signifies that I am about to start Episode 2. So let's jump into it. No freaking way! Or maybe this is something completely different, but there should be a quest that pops up. Come on. There we go. But if I buy $20 or more with the clams, I get the $10 reward and 5 hall passes. Get the $10 reward? What does that mean, exactly? Is that $10 worth of clams, or do I get a specific type of thing? Type of reward? I don't know. But anyway... That's awesome! If I buy $10 worth or more of clams, I get four rat tails. So clearly that's going to be in episode two. Well, you came to the right place. Did you reject, like, a bunch of dodgeball players from attending Griffin High? Of course I did. They ain't cool enough to come here. Besides, those guys used to peg me non-stop. Hearing the hollow thunk of them red balls makes my butt wet. Getting what is bad, when is your butt? Dodgeballers and locker room bullies are here. Cool kid Peter dodge balls. Okay. This place is a nut house. So we got a 10 second quest. He also drops something down below. As you wish. And dodgeballers and locker rooms are here, or whatever. Rejected locker room bullies and dodgeballers are taking their anger out on Kohawk. Give locker room bullies a taste of their own medicine with rat tails. Send Jock Joe to play ball with the dodgeballers. Has it been 10 seconds yet? It has. It works! Peter, the locker room is full of bullies you rejected from high school. What should we do about them? That's easy. Wave a red cape and stab him with a sword. I think you're thinking of bulls, not bullies. I'm pretty sure that swords work on everything. You want to come over to my house and watch me cut water bottles in my backyard with one? It's pathetic, but you can't make fun of me because I got a sword. Oh, we got something in the corner. Or was it always there? From now on, we're all going to do whatever I want to do. Hey, Joe. You want to be a teacher at Griffin High? Some of the parents don't think this is a real school because they ain't no teachers. I don't know, Peter. I'm not sure I'm qualified to be a teacher. I mean, I have no training, no patience, and I usually have a gun on me. So what you're telling me is that you're overqualified to be a gym teacher. Welcome aboard. Get two towels, create a rat tail at the gym, meet McLovin in the parking lot. Are you timed, McLovin? Are you timed? So I looked in the frequently asked questions and it is timed. There's a seven day timer once you actually repair this in the parking lot. I'm not even going to go over there. Not even going to go over there. I'm telling you now, fair warning, if you repair McLovin in the parking lot, it starts a seven day timer. Wouldn't it be fun if I wore my old varsity jacket for my teaching gig at Griffin High? I still have it. I even brought it to college and wore it every day. It's a nice one too. No one invited me to parties because they were jealous of it. Creates a Jock Joe outfit. I don't know. We'll do that at the end. Or look at it at the end. I wish I could create it that fast. Am I right? What's up, home slice? I'm McLovin. Hey, I'm Tom. But now I wish I had a cool name like you. Hold on. Okay, I did one of those porn name search generators and combined my pet's name and street I grew up on. I'm Tom Tucker. My dog's name is Tom and I grew up on Tucker Street, and apparently my parents gave me a porn name. Unlock good old McLovin! He was pretty funny in that movie. It's from Superbad, by the way. Everybody's seen Superbad, right? So I can't progress any further until I actually repair the parking lot. And we're not going to do that, obviously, just yet. On to the inventory! What do we got here? We've got Gym Class Mystery Box for 150 clams. And let's see, we got Tay Frazier. We've also got 26 dodgeballs, 7 hall passes, so they're going to obviously stay in episode 2. 25 towels, 155 clams, cheese, hamsters from the first week. We've also got Greaser Quagmire, which might be the premium character. Either them or Jock Joe. But I'm leaning towards the Quagmire costume. We've also got... Indoor gym, which drops the varsity jackets. Dodgeball supply, which drops the footballs. Gym rat gym, which drops 
probably protein powder. Ah, more stuff, more drops for everybody. And as we continue, James Wood's high sign. Now I did say that probably the hall passes would carry over. Let's just double check that, shall we? Oh gosh, there it is. That's what we have to repair. I'm so paranoid. So we've got, well we've got the 52 of the hamster wheels, but this is going to change the second I actually relog. Chances are this one and this one will both have dodgeballs. So keep that in mind. Make these at the gym. Make Quagmire lean against the lockers. Oh, I forgot. We have to go way up top here, right? All right, right here. Here we go. So what is your card for the towels? We have got Peter, Herbert, Chris, Cher Horowitz, which I've obviously unlocked already, and Gym Class Mystery Box. They're going to be three-hour quests that you saw in the very beginning. So that's how you get those. So I'm thinking again that Quagmire is probably going to be premium. Yes, it's 210 clams if you want to go that route. It drops the rat tails. We've also got the Jock Joe. And here's what we need. We need 41 of the trophies. And you get them by clearing the locker room bullies. 21 footballs. We get them from Tay Frazier, which is in the mystery box. Joe Toss the Pigskin. Balls Out Dodge Supply. Or Dodge Ball Supply. What's that supposed to mean? It's going to be a three hour quest, so let's do that. We've also got eight protein powders. Is that what they are? Yep, protein powder. Dave Frazier again. Gym Rats Gym, and that appears to be it. The chances are you will have to put down the Gym Rats Gym, obviously, in order to get this particular character skin. And finally, 18 of the Varsity Jackets, which are rare. Dave Frazier for the third time. May get stuffed into Joe's lockers. Bonnie. Jump and fall into a gym, which actually I will be putting down in a second. But what does this actually cost in terms of time? What? Four hours. So we'll do that as well. I'll try. There we go to get a bit of a head start. The so first up, the jump and fall indoor gym. The gym of choice for kids and 20 somethings afraid of growing up. Beautiful. There we go. Let's keep going if we can. This one next is the two footballs. Seven of these. Okie dokie. Come on in and get a feel for their balls. Balls out dodge ball supply. Craft. And there we go again. So I'm down to nine. And I think this is where we're going to tap out. Yeah, we're going to tap out here for now. We'll still need three more of the hall passes. So these are locker room bullies. What about the other one? What about the dodgeballers? Because all I see right now are these. Which is a locker room bully. So either I misread what it said or these dodgeballers will be popping up later on maybe. But other than that, I guess that's pretty much it for now. A quick reminder, McLovin is timed. So once you do repair it in the parking lot, it will start the seven day timer. Everything does seem very similar to the first week. In this case though, however, instead of getting the cheese, like in the first week there, in the second week, we got the tells. And when we get the tell, we just use them on the, the bullies. Pretty much it. Pretty basic. And then they're going to drop things like the trophies for Jock Joe. And what else did they drop? Let's just double check that to make sure. Oh, it also drops the dodgeballs as well. As I said, keep in mind, I haven't logged in yet. That's why it does say the hamster wheels. The second I log in again, though, we log, it's going to say the hamster wheels and probably the dodgeballs as well. So keep that in mind. But again, everything is exactly the same as the first week. But continue to clue things from the first week because you're going to need both of the currencies to get the hall passes. And then you take the hall passes. And as you saw, Trade him in for prizes for Jock Joe and eventually McLovin. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please remember to like, come and share. Thanks for watching. My name is Casey, but I will see you on the next one. Bye bye guys.